What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I would like to talk about linebacker Michael Walker. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. Hit that like button for your boy. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys for your continued support, uh, continuing to share out my content. If you would like to follow your boy on Twitter, you can follow me at Jutalk Sports. Uh, if you would like to donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, uh, which is the dollar sign Jutalk Sports. And if you'd like to be a part of my Jutalk Sports membership, you can hit that join tab here on the channel as well. But with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So as I mentioned uh, in today's video, I do want to talk about linebacker Michael Walker. Uh, Michael Walker is the linebacker um, out of Fresno State. Uh, he's going into his third season uh, with the Atlanta Falcons. And he was a guy that was drafted um, the last season of Dan Quinn and Thomas Dimitrov being here. Uh, last year was his first season under the new regime, under Dean Pease, his new defensive scheme. Um, and I think that Michael Walker played really well. Um, if you guys go and look at AtlantaFalcons.com, Tori McElhaney uh, recently wrote a piece uh, on Michael Walker where she interviewed him and he talked about um, a couple of different things, but he basically stated that he's ready uh, to seize the opportunity. Um, he felt like last season he thought that he would uh, he thought that he was going to get more opportunities to play uh, on the defense and he mainly ended up playing special teams. Uh, he only got to play in two games last season, and that was due to, um, I believe it was Deion Jones uh, that was injured those two games when he actually got to play. Uh, one of the games is where he played against Carolina, where he had a pick six on Cam Newton for a touchdown, and he showed his athleticism. He showed that he is a playmaker. So I definitely think that uh, Michael Walker has been the forgotten man uh, on this linebacking unit. Um, this offseason, we did bring in Rashawn Evans uh, from the Tennessee Titans, and we did draft Troy Anderson uh, in the second round this year. And there's been a lot of talks about Deion Jones possibly uh, possibly being traded. Uh, those rumors were swirling for a, uh, for a while until the Falcons broke that Deion Jones actually had shoulder so uh, surgery, that he had a shoulder injury. So with that being said, I do think that Michael Walker is one of those guys um, that will get an opportunity to possibly be a starter this season. Um, I definitely think that Michael Walker has a chip on his shoulder. And that's something that he talked about um, in that Tori McElhaney piece that she wrote on AtlantaFalcons.com. Uh, he talked about wanting to gain the respect of his teammates, uh, wanting to gain the respect of the new coaching staff and wanting to seize this opportunity of possibly being a guy that could be a starter. Now that Foyer, um, has signed with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, there is a void uh, for one of those inside linebacker positions. We know when Deion Jones is healthy, uh, he is one of the captains and leaders of that defense um, at that linebacker position. But with Foyer being gone, um, it's going to come down to Evans, Michael Walker, and Troy Anderson uh, to compete for that other inside linebacker role. So I definitely think that Michael Walker is a guy that has the skill set uh, to play the inside linebacker position and definitely be a starter uh, on this Atlanta Falcons team. Um, you guys know that I'm huge on talking about player development and developing your players. And now that he's been under this Dean, Dean P scheme for a full season, I think he can go out there and play fast. Now, I do think that um, a guy like Rashawn Evans kind of has a leg up on Michael Walker because he was in Tennessee with Dean Pease and he knows the scheme as well. And he played for a couple seasons under Dean Pease. But I do think that Michael Walker um, is a more athletic linebacker when it comes to coverage, uh, when it comes to being versatile, um, being able to do multiple things. Rashawn Evans mainly is a linebacker that likes to go downhill and he's a run stopping linebacker. He's not really that good uh, in coverage. And I think that's where Michael Walker's strength is. I do think that Michael Walker is a, um, a pretty big guy, 6'3", uh, 235 to 240 pounds. So he's a lot bigger than a Deion Jones. But I definitely think that uh, he can do some things that Rashawn Evans doesn't do well. And that's the coverage side of the game. So I definitely think that Michael Walker is one of those guys that will get an opportunity and he's ready to prove 
um, or earn a starting role for this team. So it's going to be very interesting in training camp uh, to see uh, how well Michael Walker plays and to see if he can win uh, one of those in, uh, inside linebacker roles. But with him being a guy that was drafted with the last regime, um, he definitely feels like he has a chip on his shoulder and he wants to prove uh, to everybody on this coaching staff and to prove to his teammates uh, that he can take that next step and being uh, one of those playmakers and being one of those starters on the defense. So with that being said, you guys let me know what you think of Michael Walker. Uh, do you think Michael Walker could possibly be one of the starters for this Atlanta Falcons defense at that linebacker position? Personally, I think that he's really underrated. And every time he's gotten his opportunity to start or get an opportunity to get snaps, he sees the moment he sees his opportunities. So I definitely think that he's going to take advantage um, of this opportunity of possibly uh, being that guy that can start next to Deion Jones uh, this season. But with that being said, this being your boy, Ju, I have a lot more videos coming for you guys. As always, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, Hit that subscribe button for your boy. We are currently on the road to 2,000, uh, 2000 subscribers and beyond. But with that being said, it's been your boy, Ju. I'll holler at you guys. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. Peace.